Welcome back to a new adventure. Pretty sure I have crazy bed hair right now. Here comes the sun. Do 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 do. There's the sun. This trail goes down a ways, and then we're gonna traverse all of this. We made it. That is magnificent. Some Skittles. It was about 23 miles in total. It's crazy to me that that was longer than the Enchantment's hike. We are off onto the Pacific Crest Trail. It's finally light enough out to talk to you guys. Welcome back a new adventure welcome back to a new episode pretty sure I have crazy bed hair right now I just got down from my backpacking trip last night and then slept in my car at the trailhead this morning and now we're sending the PCT it's a beautiful morning so far the Sun is just coming up So beautiful. It's about seven in the morning. We're about three miles in on the PCT. We'll see how many miles we get today. But we are on the fourth large hike. You guys are probably tired of larches by now, but I love them. Can't wait to see more today. It's gonna be a beautiful day, a day the Lord has made. I rejoice in it. I thank him for it. Hallelujah, amen. Glory to God. Let's have a day. There is the very first large on this trail. About three and a half miles in, first large. Look at that cute little guy. What an honor for that guy to be the very first large in this trail. <laughs> Can't wait to see some more. Here comes the sun, doo 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 doo. <laughs> oh man, look at that. There's the sun. 
feels so good to feel the sun. I am about five miles in. It is 8 a.m. Five miles in, and it's just eight o'clock in the morning. My legs are still feeling pretty good, so let's keep on pushing. See how far we can get. It's easy to want to keep hiking when you got views like this. <laughs> Spectacular. So beautiful. Okay, we made it to the top of the pass. Incredible sunrise right now. The Pacific Crest Trail continues out and around this corner. So we'll head that way, but I think I'm gonna take a little rest, get a snack or two, and then we'll keep pushing. So that is Tower Mountain. This trail goes down, I believe, and then up to the left of this whole thing. And then there's a place called Snowy Lakes behind that. I think that might be where I'm attempting to go. That's probably where I'll turn around if I make it there. Let's see. Let's keep going as long as we feel good. It's beautiful up here. Can't wait to see more. Wow, look at that, it's just a sheer drop to the valley. Look at the relief on these cliffs, it's just thousands of feet drop, that is incredible. So yeah, this is Tower Mountain, that's Mount Hardy. This trail goes down a ways, and then we're gonna traverse all of this, and then we go up and over that saddle, and then Snowy Lakes is right over that. I did not like walking across that. Looks like it's about to give way any second. And down you go. <laughs> all this is all washout. It's only a matter of time that that starts going as well. That's kind of sketchy. Thank you, Jesus, for guardian angels for today. But that will not go anywhere today. In Jesus' name.
Okay, we just hit the junction for the snowy lake cut off from the Pacific Crest Trail. So now we're heading up and over this guy. And snowy lake should be right on the other side of that. I am a little over 10 miles total so far with a little bit left to go. So it's definitely a ways out here, but I think it's gonna be worth it. Let's just knock out this little hill and we'll be enjoying some Alpine lakes. Snowy lakes. This is gorgeous. It's just this pristine little alpine lake. So awesome. in the background. Larch is right along it. That is incredible. My watch clocks me in at about 11.25 miles to this point. In reality it's probably a little less than that because I'm going back and forth getting video and stuff so maybe more like 10 and a half miles or so. But this is incredible. Wow. gonna find a spot sit down make some coffee have some food taking the views Cheers. <sighs> and we're pairing with the coffee, a peanut butter and honey sandwich. On real air. Truly beautiful. I mean, look at these views behind me. Set you guys over here. Look at these mountains. Awesome. 
little after coffee dessert, some Skittles. This will give me some carbs too for the way back down. As hard as it is to leave, I think it's time I pack up and start making my way back down. I have 11 and a half miles back to the car and I also have to do the two and a half hour drive back to Bellingham tonight. So it's a little past noon, so it'll probably take us about four hours to get out of here. And the long drive is gonna be, it's gonna be brutal, but this right here, well worth it. So I'm gonna pack my bag up and then we'll be hitting trail back to the car. Okay, before leaving, I had to come up the hill to the top. Look at this. Oh man. That is gorgeous. Just 360 degree views. God is good, man. Look at this. Unbelievable. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to make my way down. <laughs> it's so hard to leave, but I got to get going. Here's the first and last larch of this trail. It's been a pleasure, my friend. We have made it back to the car. The hike is complete. It took us just over 10 hours to do, and it was about 23 miles in total with about 4,100 feet of gain and about 2,500 calories burned. It's crazy to me that that was longer than the Enchantments hike. Um, just not as much gain, about 1,400 feet less of gain, but that was an epic hike, an epic adventure. So now I have about a two and a half hour drive home. That's what I'm rewarded with for completing that hike. So I'm gonna get on the road. So I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for being here. And we will see you guys in the next one. Peace.